In the evolving landscape of 2024, a breakthrough in learning methods emerged, transforming the way individuals like Alex approached mastering Python. This approach not only facilitated a deeper comprehension of Python, but also nurtured problem-solving skills critical in the tech industry. Moreover, ChatGPT's capability to provide instant feedback and debugging assistance was instrumental in Alex's rapid progression. Alex's story exemplifies the transformative potential of AI in education. And before we move on guys, just a quick info for you. If you are one of the aspiring AI and ML enthusiasts looking for online training and graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch career in AI and ML from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. By enrolling in this certification program, you will gain expertise in skills like generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, explainable AI, machine learning algorithms, supervised and unsupervised learning, model training and optimization, and just much more on the list. You can find the course link in the description box and pinned comment. So let's get started. So the number one step for learning Python fast with chat GPT would be setting up your learning environment for Python with chat GPT. So let's see the number one step. So when starting your journey to learn Python with ChatGPT, the first step is to set up a learning environment that is conducive to your learning style and goals. This involves preparing both the technical setup, like choosing the right integrated development or ID and configuring ChatGPT to best serve your learning needs. Here's how I will show you. So the first step would be choose an ID or online compiler. For writing and testing Python code, select an ID such as PyCharm, Visual Studio Code or an online compiler like Replit. So these tools offer syntax highlighting, code completion and debugging tools that make learning easier. And the next step would be install the Python and familiarize yourself with the interface. So spend some time getting comfortable with the ID or online compiler and create the first program that would be Hello World program to get hands on. And the next step would be configuring ChatGPT. So you can customize the ChatGPT. I will show you guys. So to make ChatGPT your personal Python tutor, you need to inform it about your current level and what you aim to achieve. This customization helps ChatGPT adjust its responses to fit your needs. So I will show you where you can do that. So you have to click on the profile section and go to customize ChatGPT. And here you could type that I am a complete beginner to programming and want to learn Python from scratch. So can you guide me through the basics in a simple and understandable way? So you could write that or what you want to write like if your level is intermediate or you want to learn just the advanced topics, you could write accordingly. And you could also set learning goals here. So after customizing the chat GPT, you could move to the next step and by setting up the learning environment, thoughtfully and customizing chat GPT to act as your personal tutor, you are laying a solid foundation for your Python learning journey. Remember the keys to start simple, be consistent with your practice and not hesitate to ask chat GPT for explanations, examples or new challenges to keep your learning process active and engaging. So let's start with the number two point that would be starting with the fundamentals. So once your learning environment is set up, the next crucial step is to grasp the fundamentals of Python. So this foundation is essential for building more complex programs later. So here's how we'll see that. So you should start with understanding the Python basics and starting with the core concepts. So begin with Python syntax, variables, data types, operators, and control flow. And have an interactive learning with ChatGPT. Use ChatGPT to break down these concepts into manageable explanations. Don't just read, interact by asking questions, requesting examples, and trying to solve suggested problems. So accordingly, I will show you some examples. I will write a prompt. So starting with the basic syntax and variables, we will ask ChatGPT, can you explain Python syntax and how to declare variables? Also, could you provide a simple example of variable assignment? So let's ask him. So you could see that chat GPT has started processing our prompt and it's replying. 
so you could have an interactive session with chat gpt in any case or in any response you seem to be doubtful you can just ask him or just point out like where you are having a doubt just have a conversation and it will clear your doubts so you would see that it has amazingly answered your prompt and this is the basic syntax for variable assignment and the rules for the variable names and accordingly he has given the examples so similarly you could ask different prompts to learn the basics of python that could be what are different data types in python can you give examples of each and explain when to use them or like when learning control flow you could ask him how do i use if else statements in python and please provide an example scenario where i would be using conditional logic and now coming to functions you could also ask him the great examples or the simple functions that could be used in python and the importance of functions so let's write a prompt for the function so let's ask him what is a function in python and why it is important so could you show could you show me how to write a simple function so you would see that chat gpt is generating the response and you know like how we have customized the chat gpt and that too in that we have added the prompt for a beginner level programmer so he will answer you accordingly as you will move or progress with the advanced concepts so it will also answer you in an advanced manner so the chat gpt has given us the response and you could see that he has given us the definition of function and why functions are important and the basic syntax of a function and the moreover a great example that is adding two numbers and it is explaining the code line by line and on this topic that is explaining the code or debugging the code the chat gpt is a go to man so you could ask him any code or you could put any code and it will debug the code and guys after learning each concept ask chat gpt for small coding exercises to reinforce what you have learned so practice is key to understanding and you can ask the chat gpt for small questions and for the debugging purpose learn to debug simple errors or you can ask chat gpt to intentionally introduce a common mistake in examples and guide you through fixing it so this will also help you learn python so after learning the concepts we can move on to the next step building projects so after laying a solid foundation with python fundamentals it's time to apply your knowledge through projects projects not only consolidate your learning but also challenge you to solve real world problems so we'll see how you can ask chat gpt or choose the right project for your resume or for your career purpose so first point would be interest and complexity so pick projects that align with your interest and are slightly above your current skill level to ensure learning growth and use chat gpt for ideas if you are unsure where to start chat gpt can suggest project ideas based on your interest and skill set so let's write a prompt and ask chat gpt for a suitable project so we'll ask him that i am comfortable with python basics and want to create my first project so can you suggest me some beginner level project ideas that would help me grow so you could see that chat gpt has started generating its response and you could see that it is breaking down the project and once you get the project idea you can ask chat gpt to help you break it down into manageable task so you could make it through the beginner level only and this makes the project less daunting and more structured and for the research and resource part you could ask the chat gpt to provide learning resources code snippets and explanations you don't need to ask all the code 
you could ask him that you can provide code snippets or where you get stuck you could just ask him or just provide the code he will debug for you and provide the code snippets and you could see that the list has been provided by chat gpt and number one on the list is calculator then to do list application then we have budget tracker simple blog feather application quiz game web scraper content aggregator password generator flashcard app for learning and if you want to break down these projects you could ask him what skills would i need to build these projects or the particular project and he will have a list for you so you could go through the list and if you are comfortable that you have hands on on these skills you could proceed with that project or else you could ask him to explain those concepts and then you can proceed with that project and once you have a working version of your project ask for feedback chat gpt can give you a basic review but also consider sharing your project in coding communities and you know like the continuous improvement is the key use feedback to refine your project and learning is an iterative process and for the feedback purpose you could also write a prompt that i have completed a basic version of my python web scraper project and you can provide the files to the chat gpt and you can ask him can you provide suggestions for improvement or additional features or for the performance optimization you could ask him how can i make my python script more efficient and faster and you could provide the code after that so if you have used many for loops or the nested loops so the chat gpt will answer you with the optimized code so by building projects you not only reinforce your python skills but also gain practical experience solving problems and working on real world applications and each project will enhance your understanding and challenge you to think critically and boost your problem solving skill remember the goal isn't just to complete the project but to learn and grow through the process and use chat gpt as a resource for ideas troubleshooting and guidance to bring your python projects to life now moving to the next point so the next step for your learning journey would be deepening your knowledge so once you are comfortable with python basics and have completed a few project it's time to deepen your knowledge this phase involves exploring more complex topics learning advanced libraries and understanding best practices in programming with python and let's see how you can explore them so we'll now explore advanced topics that would be explore specialized libraries so python strength lies in its extensive libraries for different fields such as django or flask for web development pandas and numpy for data analysis and tensorflow or pytorch for machine learning so we'll see the best practices and design patterns and first we'll have a prompt for the library exploration so we can ask the chat gpt that i am interested in machine learning can you explain how to get started with tensorflow in python and suggest a beginner project so let's ask him and let's see what it respond to us that i am interested in machine learning can you explain how to get started with tensorflow and suggest a beginner project so as chat gpt will be responding to us we could have some other prompts also that could be what are some pythonic best practices i should follow to write clean and efficient code so after you have learned the concepts and build a project now you could go on or move on to a best pythonic practices that could help you write clean and efficient code so you could see that chat gpt has provided us the response that is first it has provided like how to install the tensorflow library then explore tensorflow basics then dive into neural networks with tensorflow and then work on a project so this is the road map to learn any library and for every step you could ask chat gpt that can you provide more information about the step 1 that would be understanding the basics of machine learning so it will have a full hands on and you could follow up with the chat gpt in a conversational way and you could have more complex prompts to deepen your knowledge that would be i want to build a recommendation system using python so how do i approach this project and what libraries will i need and you could just brainstorm before moving on to a complex project and chat gpt will guide you and help you 
brainstorm on that particular project and if you want to do open source contribution and there also you can ask help with the chat GPT that would be like we can write a prompt for that that could be how can I find Python open source projects suitable for beginners to contribute to and what steps should I follow to make my first contribution so these steps will help you deepen your knowledge with the Python so guys let's move to the next step that is practice and feedback so as you progress in your Python journey the importance of practice cannot be overstated it cements your knowledge sharpens your skills and prepares you for real-world challenges so you could have chat GPT in your pocket and ask for the daily challenges that would be regular practice is essential so ask chat GPT for daily or weekly coding challenges that push your boundaries and cover a wide range of topics so let's have a prompt for that that would be for the daily coding challenges so we'll ask him can you provide a daily coding challenge to intermediate python developers focused on data structures let's see but it will respond to us so can you provide a daily coding challenge for intermediate python developer focused on data structure so let's see what coding challenge it provide to us and you could also ask him about improving existing projects that you could share the repository link also that you can upload on github and ask him that I want to add new features and implement them so can you help me with that and you could like make a list of the suggestions or the new features and chat GPT will guide you through that so you could see that chat GPT has produced the response that is the challenges merge intervals so you could see the problem statement here that is given a collection of intervals merge all overlapping intervals and for simplicity an interval they have given us and consider to be overlapping with another interval that is c comma d and they have given the example input and the example output and they provided us the guidelines to go through the question and then we have the challenge code template it has provided you the code template so you don't have to start fresh you could just add your code in the provided function here so this is how you could use chat gpt for practice and feedback that are the twin pillars of mastering python and by engaging in regular coding challenges seeking constructive feedback and continuously improving your work based on this feedback you will not only sharpen your technical skills but also cultivate a growth mindset remember every piece of code you write and every piece of feedback you receive is a stepping stone to becoming a proficient python developer so now moving to the next step that is adapting learning strategies so as you progress in your python journey it becomes crucial to adapt your learning strategies to stay effective and motivated this involves personalizing your approach for learning and incorporating new models and leveraging tools like chat gpt to address your evolving needs so here's how we will refine those techniques that would be identifying our learning style so the number one is personalized learning so understand whether you learn best through reading coding watching tutorials or solving problems so tailor your study sessions to match your preferred learning style for maximum retention so for that you could have a prompt and ask chat GPT that I learn best through hands-on projects so can you suggest interactive Python tutorials or Python based learning resources so chat GPT will be there for you and answer your prompt so let's go for this prompt that is I learn best through hands-on projects can you suggest interactive Python tutorials or project based videos for my learning so you could see that it has started generating the response and you could have challenges also with the chat GPT that is you could ask him that gradually increase the complexity of topics or projects 
as I am becoming more comfortable with previous content. And for that also you could have a prompt that would be I have mastered basic Python syntax and want to challenge myself more. Can you suggest intermediate level or advanced level topics or projects? So this is how you will be growing in this journey and you could see that it has started providing the response with the Python tutorials with intermediate projects and you could see the list here and with this step you could also ask him that here's how I have been learning Python so far so can you suggest improvements or new strategies based on my current progress on my current prompts or the answers so you could ask the chat GPT that at what level I am and how I need to grow more and what's my current progress so you could see guys that it has provided all the additional resources that is if you want some other projects you can move on to github and kaggle for the data sets notebooks and competitions with the community and now moving to the last step that is staying motivated and engaged so maintaining motivation and engagement is key to sustain learning in python programming so here's how to keep your spirits high and remain focused with concise strategies and chat gpt for the learning journey so set achievable goals so break your learning journey into small manageable goals celebrate each achievement to keep the momentum and you could ask the prompt to chat gpt also that would be can you help me set small weekly goals for improving my python skills so he will give you a foolproof plan where you could follow that plan and have your learning journey on a smooth process so you could ask him that can you help me set small weekly goals for improving my python skills so you could see that chatgpt has started generating the response and it will give you a very like the basic and the achievable roadmap that would be week one you could cover the python basics week two and follow this and keep updating chat gpt that i have completed my day one day two and at the end of the week ask him that i have completed my week three and then you can deepen your knowledge with the question round and the daily challenging round with chat gpt so you could see guys that it has provided us the prompt and this is all the roadmap that you could follow on and have a good learning journey with chat gpt for python or any language you want to learn and with that guys we have come to the end of this session if you like this session then like share and subscribe if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section thank you and keep learning staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.